So I'm supposed to talk about my work. What exactly am I going to talk about? Well, everything comes from somewhere. An origin, an inspiration. Originality derived from experience, from childhood. The positive and the negative stored in the recesses and the folds of the various parts of the brain. Um, well, maybe I shouldn't go there. I could just simply show samples of the body of work that earned me the editor of the year, or I could talk about the piece that garnered the first place award, and that would be that. But maybe there's another way, a better way to describe what I do, what an editor does. Editing is sort of like walking into a large, dimly lit room where you face all these buttons and flashing lights and numerous options. A wall about 10 feet high and 15 feet long. And you're racing around trying to choose the right button, hoping to throw the right switch. Digging into your years of experience, the knowledge acquired, aesthetics developed by plowing through art galleries and photo books and documentaries and way too much television. And all that running around is just inside your head, boned up on chocolate or caffeine, working without a break. When was my last meal? Is this a dissolve or a cut? Those pictures could use a little color correction. Can we take some more track now? The train of thought interrupted by the producer asking for durations or sharing a questionable joke. And then here comes another interruption. But this time the correspondent and the producer are talking about their sex lives or expressing a bit of schadenfreude, mouthing off about a colleague or maybe wondering where they are going for drinks tonight. And meanwhile you continue your frantic search for the right shot to fall into the right place to accent the words and you want to scream, push back the deadline, push back the deadline. And does anybody see you racing from one end of the button filled wall to the other end of the edit suite? No. That reality is all inside your head. It's really just you in a chair in a dark room, slumped over a keyboard, pushing a mouse around as quickly as you possibly can. And you really do wonder sometimes if anybody fully appreciates the work and the artistry of a good editor. And when it comes down to it, you also wonder how editors don't end up shackled in padded cells more often. So ultimately, it's all about doing justice. And in the stress and the time that you have, you try to get it close to perfection, something it can never truly be. But you gotta try. You know, do your job, do it well. And if you really want to do justice to the story, you need to believe completely that you're making a difference. Or maybe that getting people to just stop and listen and think about the world sometimes is good enough. <laughs>